Hello, my name is Brian Lawfer, Vice President here at Aspire Technologies. This video will introduce you to how to set up the new QuoteWorks integration to Autotask. To start off with, what we're going to do is go to the Contacts menu and set up Contact Manager. From here, we're going to select Autotask from the list of Contact Managers, obviously. Um, and then from here, we can select what hosting method we use with Autotask. A majority of you are going to be in the cloud, so like if you go to autotask.net, for instance, to log into Autotask, you are in the cloud. Otherwise, uh, if you're self-hosted, uh, you can put in your server URL, and a lot of times it's going to be like autotask.mydomain. Uh, Dot com, for instance, and QuoteWorks will fill in the rest and talk to your on-premise version of Autotask. Uh, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to use the cloud. And then the next setting down is going to be the, your Autotask credentials. And as you can see here, basically it's going to be pulling it from the Tools My Preferences menu. But to help speed you along a little bit, or for testing, uh, you can override those settings um, instead of pulling it directly from there uh, and test it to make sure it's going to work. And obviously it did. So I'm going to click on Save, and now that saves it for my user. Now each user um, in QuoteWorks that's going to be integrating with Autotask will need to fill out their credentials under the Tools My Preferences menu. Um, you as the administrator can definitely do that under the Utilities um, uh, User Preferences menu as well through QuoteWorks. Okay, so everything worked, which is great. So now what I can do is actually go into the actual setup of the integration. So what we're doing is we're logging in, so we, we just pulled in a bunch of information from Autotask. Uh, for those of you that are already familiar with using QuoteWorks with another CRM or PSA, uh, some of this will look kind of familiar. Um, the easiest setup here is uh, the completion of the sales forecast from QuoteWorks. So basically, when we, complete, when we convert a quote in QuoteWorks to an order, uh, we can actually automatically um, win that opportunity in Autotask. Um, we can also do it when converting to an invoice or never for instance. Now, the next section below here um, talks a lot about the item type. Um, the integration to Autotask relies heavily on the QuoteWorks item type. This is how we're going to map um, different um, allocation codes, um, what kind of product we're going to be creating in the quote, that sort of thing. So we have the ability to default the item types in QuoteWorks to be something specific. Uh, for right now, I'm just going to leave them as, uh, um, as unselected. Um, and I'm going to move on to the quote products. So this is going to be options for adding quote items into the Autotask quote. All right. So when we uh, when we go to map a QuoteWorks product to an Autotask product, um, and again, this is only for working with quote items, um, we we're going to match it based on the manufacturer part number. Okay. Now, um, so you're going to want to set a part number for everything inside of QuoteWorks. So um, you can set like a default part number. So like if you're just manually typing a uh, product on the on the fly, you can have a default to a specific part number. So for right now, we're just doing QW general product, but that can be whatever you want. Um, and I'm just going to skip down here a little bit. It looks, you know, this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, but this checkbox here, um, for grouped bundles, only create a single summary product in Autotask, not the individual group items. What this means is if you check this button and you've got a group maybe for a, um, a server, for instance, and the header line for that server in QuoteWorks is, you know, um, white box server, you know, B. When that goes over to Autotask, it would only go over as white box server B if this uh, option is checked. If it's unchecked, all the components of that server would go over to Autotask. So it would, you know, you'd have the different CPUs, the hard drives, the RAID controllers, whatnot, and that's what would go over if this is not checked. Um, for me personally, I like to have everything forecasted, so I know, you know, how many hard drives I'm going to need to order and that sort of thing. So I'm going to leave this unchecked. Now moving down a little bit. Um, we've got the mapping. So this is going to be the Autotask quote number to move deleted quote items to. Um, currently, Autotask does not have the ability for third-party developers to delete items off of a quote. So we have to have what's called like a garbage collection uh, quote in Autotask. Uh, so you'll want to create this in advance. Um, and the reason QuoteWorks doesn't do this automatically for you is because you know we don't want to mess up any forecasting. So uh, because each company handles forecasts in Autotask a little bit differently. You know, we don't know, you know, what company or contact to associate it with, um, and then what opportunity to associate it with, what date range, you know, what you want that set to. So, you know, we've got that explanation right here. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to move it to quote one. Um, and that's 
the, the quote I, number and quote ID are exactly the same in Autotask. All right, um, so moving down a little bit. Um, so what we're going to do now is, based on the QuoteWorks item type, we can map it to a specific um, quote type inside of Autotask. Um, so you know we might want it to go over as a product or as a cost item. Um, so for an item type that is not mapped, and those mappings are right here, so I'm just going to go ahead and set it as a product, and I'm going to have service be a product as well just for right now. Um, for those that aren't mapped, we can have it go over as like a cost item. And then moving on to the next tab here, uh, we have the ability to map again based on the QuoteWorks item type to a product allocation code. So if back here we have the item, so the product item type inside of QuoteWorks mapped to a product type in Autotask, if the item does not already exist in, in Autotask, we need to say what allocation code we're going to use. For most of you, it's just going to be taxable and non-taxable, um, but if you've got more allocation codes, you can definitely set them up as well. Uh, using that mapping, but I'm always going to use these two. Moving on to the next tab, we've got cost item codes. So this is where you know the cost item, um, you know, we're going to map that uh, based on these allocation codes. Um, and I'm going to skip over that, and I'm just going to uh, just go ahead and just select a couple of things here. All right. So that's that's the basic of mappings. Um, from here, uh, what I'm going to do is go to the product data source. Um, QuoteWorks has the ability to link to both the Autotask products database and the Autotask services database. And when those items get brought into QuoteWorks, we can select what item type they're going to be in QuoteWorks. So I'm just going to have them both be product when they come in. All right. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and click on OK. And now at this point, we've got the actual integration set up. So like if I wanted to do a search, and I'll do the search for Aspire. And you can see it brought it up in, uh, based on our contacts in Autotask. Now, the one thing that we haven't done yet is actually uh, link to the products uh, inside of Autotask. So what I'm going to do is go to the Products menu and Set of Product Sources. And then I'm going to click on New here. And then in this drop-down list, you'll see that we've got two new ones here. We've got Autotask Products and Services. So we'll do Products first. Click on Next. And I'm just going to leave everything the same, but we do have the ability, obviously, to map to other fields within QuoteWorks. Okay? Click on Next. We'll call this Autotask Products. Click on Next. We can rename the, uh, the columns in QuoteWorks if we want to. Click on Next and Finish. And I'm going to do one more, and we're going to select Autotask Services this time. And just like from before, we can select different items to map to. Spell that correctly there. Click on Next. Again, we can change the titles. Finish. And now we've got our different links there. Click on Close. So now, when I go to product, uh, Products and Lookup, not only do I have Edelize in our products, I also have the Autotask products and services as well. And we have the ability to search by description or part number. So if I were to show all in our Autotask products here, it's going ahead and brought in all 147 items there as you can see. And what's nice too is like if you've got a URL set up, we can right click on it and view the, the URL uh, right from that URL that you have set up in Autotask. So we've, we've really taken advantage of the fields available in Autotask when we're making this integration. Um, also the periods will come in as well. So you've got recurring items uh, coming in and flowing into QuoteWorks as well. So that's a quick run, run through of how to set up the Autotask integration. Uh, if you have any questions on this, feel free to give us a call. Um, our tech support is always available um, Monday through Friday, um, 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. and always through email as well. So I look forward to hearing from you. If, if you have any questions, please feel free to let us know. Thank you and have a great day.